Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So in the previous video, we have already discussed about what is IOTA. So now that we understand a bit about IOTA, now we will go on to what are complex numbers. So in this particular video, we will first discuss about what are complex numbers, how they are represented, what is the imaginary part of it and what is the real part of it. After that, we will go on to what do we mean by the equality of two complex numbers. That is, if we equate two different complex numbers, then how we are going to equate them. And after that, we will go on to the addition of two complex numbers, subtraction of two complex numbers, followed by multiplication and division. Also, there are some properties related to addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of complex numbers. So we will discuss about the properties as well. So without further ado, let's start with the topics. So now we will start with the first question and that is show that one plus iota to the power 10 plus iota to the power 20 plus iota to the power 30 is real number. Now we have to show that this is a real number so we will start solving this so this is one for iota to the power what you can do is just divide 10 by 4 okay whatever powers we are getting we will divide that by 4 because we know iota to the power 4 equals 1 right and 1 to the power anything will become 1 so eventually we will get to the number that is 1 so if we divide 10 by 4 we will get this right two remainder here so what we will do is iota to the power 4 because we have divided that by 4 iota to the power 4 whole to the power this 2 into iota to the power whatever remainder we have got right this is for iota to the power 10 similarly for iota to the power 20 will divide that by 4 so we'll get 5 so we can write it as iota to the power 4 whole to the power 5 right 5 into 4 is 20 so we can write iota to the power 20 as iota to the power 4 whole to the power 5 similarly will be the case for iota to the power 30 so it will be iota to the power 4 whole to the power 7 into iota square because 2 will be the remainder here right now 1 plus iota to the power 4 is 1 and square of 1 will be 1 so this will be 1 into iota square here now for this part this whole will become 1 this whole again will become 1 so this will be 1 into iota square now 1 plus 1 into iota square so iota square is minus 1 right plus 1 1 into iota square that is minus 1 so plus 1 cancels out with minus 1 plus 1 cancels out with minus 1 and becomes 0 so 0 is a real number so this way this whole is a real number right so this was the first question now we will move on to the second one now the second question is find the value and we have been given iota to the power 592 plus iota to the power 590 plus iota to the power 588 plus iota to the power 586 plus iota to the power 584 whole divided by iota to the power 582 plus iota to the power 580 plus iota to the power 578 plus iota to the power 
576 plus iota to the power 574 now here also what we have to do is we will divide the power by 4 right so 1 by 1 we will do that so for this one iota to the power 592 we will get iota to the power 4 whole divided by 148 and 0 will be the remainder you can divide it and you will observe this right plus iota to the power 590 we can write it as iota to the power 4 whole to the power 147 into iota square for 588 it will be iota to the power 4 to the power 147 next is iota to the power 4 whole to the power 146 into iota square now for iota to the power 584 it will be iota to the power 4 whole to the power 146 now for the denominator part it will be iota to the power 4 whole to the power 145 into iota square so actually only Two is getting decreased everywhere so if you could observe here it was 148 then we uh, we minus 2 from there so 147 and 2 comes here again we minus 2 then this part iota square goes and this way it goes on like this if you are not able to understand that you can simply divide and see now next will be iota to the power 4 whole to the power 145 because this one is 582 and this is 580 we have two less two less than this in this power so iota square will be gone here next will be iota to the power 4 whole to the power 144 into iota square plus iota to the power 4 whole to the power 140 4 plus iota to the power 4 whole to the power 143 into iota square you can observe a sequence here and using that observation you can do it very easily you need not divide everything if you are not able to do that you can always like divide right but you can observe the sequence here like 148 after 148 you get 147 into iota square then iota square goes and you are left with 147 then again power decreases by 1 along with iota square then again I get iota square is taken out here and then this series goes on now this is 1 plus this is 1 so 1 into iota square will be iota square plus this is 1 this is 1 so 1 into iota square will be iota square and this is 1 1 into iota square iota square 1 this is 1 so 1 into iota square is iota square again this is 1 1 into iota square is iota square now 1 iota square will be minus 1 so it will be minus 1 plus 1 iota square is minus 1 plus 1 iota square is minus 1 plus 1 iota square again minus 1 plus 1 iota square minus 1 plus 1 cancels out with minus 1 plus 1 cancels out with minus 1 minus 1 cancels out with plus 1 minus 1 cancels out with plus 1 we are left with plus 1 divided by minus 1 that is equals to minus 1 so the value of this overall expression is minus 1 so this was the second question right so we will leave this video with these two questions in the next video we will discuss about the complex numbers the real parts the imaginary parts of uh, complex number equality of complex numbers how we do the addition subtraction multiplication and division of complex numbers and so on so so far that's it for this video thank you so much for watching